Welcome back, everyone, to the next installment of Clock Tower. We're not doing so well, are we? I don't know. Try again? We're going to see if we can't advance any further into the game. We managed to make it as far as the elevator last time, but... Didn't really get to use it, did we? Now for this route, I'm going to do several of the same things, but you'll notice some tweaks and some omissions. We are going to start out the same way, though. I'm still going to go ahead and check this box. Goody. So, we have the West Wing key, like last time. Let's get out of here. Now, this time I'm going to do something slightly different. You remember that parrot that ratted us out last time? We're going to take a look at it. Oh my god. That's supremely creepy. You hear that? Like, I'll get you. Oh my god. I, I have to deal with this. However, we have a solution. How clever is that? Now the parrot can't rat us out. Isn't that awesome? And now, I'm gonna go ahead and get that perfume again. You know, the late game perfume. Okay, we have the perfume, let's get out of here. Now we're going to have the uh, obligatory jump out of the bathtub uh, scissor man scene like before. And I will open the door so as not to take up animation time opening the door while scissor man is chasing me. Nobody wants that. We get our scary death scene again. That really is so creepy. Okay, let's go ahead and, uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and actually hide in the, uh, the bedroom. I can hear him coming from the right, that's kind of scary by itself. Oh god, you can see him coming. I gotta make this quick then. Let's try the bed that failed us last time. Oh my god, he just comes running in. Ugh. That one clamp of the scissors. Damn it! Turns around and leaves. Well, thank God that's over. Okay, Scissor Man's been dealt with, at least for now. Goody, goody. Now we may resume exploring at our leisure. Upstairs for this one. Once again, the painful climb up the stairs. Ooh, riveting. 
kind of a bad R roll, but it is what it is. Ugh, finally, I can play again. Down we go. I'm getting a little tired, as you can see. In we go. Once again, we have this little three-step puzzle here. Try to climb the shelf, fail, move the box, get the thing. There we go, that'll do. And we're up and over, hooray! And we get our other end game item, that black robe. And now we, uh, oh, we don't leave. That's right. I gotta get the, uh, insecticide. Bingo. Okay, now we may leave. Hooray. And away we go. Ugh, that, that phone, like, I just don't even want to think about what happens when you answer the phone, or if you can. We get our creepy hallway. Oh, huh, I thought there'd be a scream. Okay, guess not. Moving along. We'll ignore this first room for now and go back into the uh, particularly creepy haunted question mark room. Someone's watching. Ooh. Oh, I don't want the clown doll. I want, yeah, the key. Hooray. Ugh. That really is so out there. Gonna mash that panic button. I'm a winner. Ugh. Okay, at this point, now I want to find the library, but I believe I said before that some rooms change with each playthrough, so I'm gonna have to guess and check. Wrong room. The library is where I want to go, and unfortunately, it can be anywhere in one of five rooms. The good news is that this one that I just tried was the odd one out. The other four are relatively close to each other. Down we go. No, it wouldn't be there. Well, there's a possibility it's this room, at least. Maybe. Or not. There seems to be, there always seems to be in the playthrough, like, one door that is just not possible to target at all. So, good for us. We are done with 
two of the five doors. Okay, okay. Maybe this one. Nope. What a shame. Well, we're past the halfway point. The good news is the other two rooms are directly next to each other. It does help keep this mansion extra creepy when you don't quite know where you're going, doesn't it? Okay, here's one of the last two possibilities. Let's see if I can play the odds. Uh, cool. So it must be this one. Now we're talking. Let's take a look at that bookcase, see if anything's up. Perfect. There's a slip of paper in the book. Hold the demon idol with great care. A tree in a forest, a person in crowds, the idol's on a statue. Okay. Let's peace out. Goody goody. See, this was something new in this playthrough. I don't think I bothered. Whoop. I don't think I bothered with anything like that in the uh, our last little runaround. Okay, there's the floor. There's the plank. And yes, I think I do have to check the floor first, otherwise I just notice that a plank exists and don't actually do anything with it. Cool. Second statue. Right? Aha! An idol is hidden in the statue's bosom. It's cold. A cross protrudes from the bottom. Picked up the demon idol. Cool. Got it. Oh yeah, that room with the cages I was in. I actually do want to go there, but the good news is I know exactly where it is. That's one of the interchangeable rooms, but we were just in it. It was next to the library, so this will be a quick little venture. Ugh, gotta wait for my character to like position herself so that I may walk some more. Oh well, it's all good. Oh wait, this was the end, wasn't it? It was actually the room just to the left, wasn't it? I was thinking this was the other set of stairs. I'm getting caught up in my own uh, actions here. Good, there we go. Now I can resume what I was doing in the previous playthrough. We have the crow corpse, but also the key. Got the cage key. Okay, and now we can free the animals. These were the rats, right? Okay, the rats ran away, and... The bird's free. I hope I find a way out of here too. Right, but for now, we're out of here. Okay, and actually I've been putting off the kitchen for a while. Let's head to the kitchen and spray the insecticide and get that key, right? I've been a little neglectful in my duties. Unfortunately, it's nothing a little bit of a backtrack can't fix.
This really is a gigantic mansion, isn't it? Was that door the hallway, or was this what I want? Oh, God, I don't know what this is, but I'm having nothing to do with it. Ugh. Ugh. No thank you. Hell no. No, 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 no. <laughs> We're going back toward the beginning of the game. Thank you. So are we going to scream this time around? Amazingly, no. Well, I can't complain, right? Was this the kitchen? I think this was the kitchen. Beautiful. Insecticide. Get rid of those pesty, pesty insects. I love the exclamation, spray the insecticide. Just like when the scissor man is chasing you in the bathroom, lock the door, yeah. And we have the key, of course. Pocket of the gold key, we're good. There's actually not too terribly much left to do. We're already taking a different path than before, you know. Okay, let's go back through the creepy hallway. And do we have a scream? Nothing. Okay. I believe this is what we were looking for. Oof, I love what they do with the music for this. All right, all right. A Celadon vase, we knew that already. Still gotta check everything. Crow corpse, the next completely severed. Lots of dots. Iron disc, a cross has been carved into it. Speaking of crosses, we do have that demon idol, right? Strange symbols are written here. Time will cause adherence. What does that mean? The cross carving is fixed in place. What was that sound? I love that there are two different ways to enter this place. And I think that's also randomly generated. Like if the staff doesn't work, I can use the statue. If the statue doesn't work, I can use the staff. Like what I, what I mean is I might not necessarily have found the statue information in the library. And if not, I would have gone back to my staff plan. Well, I think you remember this place. We get the woman who is probably Miss Mary. Approach the dog. Good. I have to get close enough where I can be a thing that is, like, item usable. Boom. The dog knows the smell very well. 
Smells of the perfume Mary uses. Black robe. Walk through. I love how we immediately take the robe back off. Also, you remember we went in there last time? This time, I will not. This time I'm gonna actually advance farther to the right. Oh, we see some... Lot! So that's where she's been this whole time. Lot, you're still alive? Mmm, Jennifer. The switches in the clock tower. Lot? Don't leave me alone. Yeah, that's true. Laura's dead. Lot might be dead from that. Possibly. I can't check her anymore. She might be dead. And there's no word on her. Well, now I have no choice but to go into that hellscape in the background. Oh boy. Super scare time. Well, we know what's coming this time, so I'll just run all the way. Away we go. Ugh, so freaky. Oh my god, it's hideous. And it's button mashing time. They really go over the top with this one, too. I have to mash like crazy. I kind of appreciate that there's almost a boss fight in this game, but it's not a fight fight because that'd be corny. I'm looking at you, Clock Tower 3. Ugh, that sucks. I still get a mash. I mean, no more mashing, I think I'm good. Yeah, there we go. What a rough way to go, man. All right, we're going through here. So I did things a little bit differently. You'll notice I did not check out the prison with our dead father giving us creepy, like, downer vibes. We'll see if that affects the story any. I didn't use the phone room either. So let's see if we're allowed to use the elevator for real. Hey, all right. A lot talked about the clock tower. Let's go all the way up. We've already seen the first and second floors, right? That's not. Oh, there's no escaping. We didn't make it to the third floor. Oh, damn, that was the ending. We made it, like, half a screen further. That barely counts as advancing. We are really drawing this out by inches, by centimeters. We still haven't gotten an ending where we didn't die. Ah, it's so brutal.
No, that's it. Where does dead the end? There you go, ending E. We're halfway through the list that the game gives us, and it's been terrible every time. Okay, you know what? We might have made a poor decision last time. I'm gonna go for the, uh, the alternate path. You can do literally every single thing we did for the E ending. In fact, we could even continue from the main menu after having gotten the E ending and we, we would, uh, be spawned at this room because you're the last room you're in. Floor 3 was obviously a bad idea. So let's nip this in the bud and go to the floor before the one where we get ambushed. Scissor Man isn't going to drop a full floor to get us, right? So we'll find our way up to floor 3 some other way. I'll do the next best thing. Uh, hi. Miss Mary? Yeah, who? Yeah, Miss Mary. Good to see you, Jennifer. Okay. You're safe now. Mary! Damn! Why indeed? That's the thing she tried doing to us in the phone room that other playthrough. And that creepy face on the lower left? Damn, just stabs us in the face. There is no freaking way out of this game. If the scissor man doesn't get us, Miss Mary does? This is ridiculous. Once again, we just get kicked back to the title. Ending D. It's just getting crazier and crazier. Can we please get one ending where we live? Well, for now, it's time to stop the installment. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, didn't we? We got the E and D endings. Looks like we messed up something in our playthrough because we either got killed on the third floor by Scissor Man or on the second floor by Miss Mary. We haven't seen her all game and all of a sudden she just brings out a knife from nowhere and stabs us. What do we have to do to live? Clearly we need to make some different decisions. Let's find out just what. Until next time everyone.